why sight? In your work at university and in your professional life after graduation, it's essential to acknowledge words or information you've taken from another source, such as books, websites, newspapers, journals, and so on. Citation, referencing, or citing is how you acknowledge your use of information or words written by someone else in your work to support your argument or illustrate your point. You need to cite when you use a direct quote from someone else, give a summary of someone else's ideas, paraphrase someone else's ideas, copy some information, such as a picture, a table, or some statistics. There are a variety of citation or referencing styles currently in use. Many QUT faculties require students to adopt the APA style of referencing. It's defined in the publication manual of the American Psychological Association, which is available at QUT Library. We'll refer to it as APA style from here on in. APA style was first developed in 1929 by a group of social scientists who wished to establish sound standards of communication. Since that time, it has been adopted by leaders in many fields and has been used by writers around the world. The seventh edition was released in 2019. The APA manual is the definitive guide for the rules and procedures to follow in referencing sources in the APA style. QUT CiteWrite provides a useful shortcut to the greatest hits of APA citation. In most instances, an example for the kind of source you need to cite will be included in CiteWrite. You can find CiteWrite on the QUT Library homepage here and here. QT CiteWrite provides basic examples for commonly cited materials in the APA style. It also provides a useful summary of the general rules of the APA style. It also has a handy guide to in-text citations, references, and reference lists. The QT CiteWrite APA guide covers books, articles, internet sources, creative works, government and corporate documents, data, maps and diagrams, and QT resources and personal communications. Find the resource type that you need to reference and follow the templates and examples to build your own reference list. Also, be aware of the pink buttons at the base of each page. These provide more details on authors, DOIs, publication details, and more. As we've said, QT CiteWrite provides basic examples for commonly cited materials in the APA style. From time to time, you may need to go outside of CiteWrite and consult the full APA manual. We do recommend spending a little time familiarising yourself with the rules of the style. They will serve you well as you move through your studies at QUT and into your professional life after university. We also recommend checking the official APA style blog from time to time for updates and tips. This has been a very brief introduction to referencing, APA style and CiteWrite. CiteWrite is always online. The APA manual is available at QUT Library and in our course reserve collections, so help is never too far away. Please also feel free to ask the QT librarians for help with referencing whenever you need to. You can find us in the QT Law Library, Level 5 of C Block, Gardens Point, online via Library Chat, or in our drop-in sessions at HiQ at Gardens Point or Kelvin Grove campuses.